Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it How they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? All right, so what are we getting into today? So you guys can tell by the title, today we're doing a supporter ride along. You guys know I hate the word fans. Like I don't like calling people fans, I like to say supporter. So say we're giving um, a local supporter a ride in the 350Z. Um, you guys know that we do a lot of the clickbait ride alongs with the females, and yeah, that's all fine and dandy. It does good, it does fantastic on views. And realistically, no BS, it really does support the channel because obviously fast cars, good looking cars, and good looking girls is always a hot topic for, you know, my, my male followers. But, you know, overall, you know, man, we're here to uh, show love and support and basically motivate people in a long way. So uh, today I'm about to be giving a local uh, supporter a ride in the LS3350Z. And the way this came about was, all I did was post on Instagram. I said, if you're local and you have a 350Z, and you'd like a ride in LS 350Z to get experience and see how this thing feels just to decide if you want to go LS3 maybe in the future. You guys know that I preach LS3 a lot for 350Zs and G35. So in order for me to practice what I preach, I got to show y'all kind of like what's the, you know, what the hype is about. And I got to let people experience this firsthand. It's been... I haven't drove this thing since the SoCal trip. This will be my first time driving it, man. I've been giving this thing a break. I drove this thing for, what, 20 hours or so? Driving near and forth, 10 tanks of gas. So this thing's kind of just been chilling in the garage. But today we're going to be pulling her out for the first time in, what, a week or two? A week or two or so, something like that. So my whole logic behind doing the supporter ride-alongs is just so I can get people to, you know, kind of experience it, get one-on-one -on -one vibes with everybody. Um, a lot of people that do YouTube and say, oh yeah, I love my subscribers and my followers and all this stuff, Ben, but kind of like don't really do nothing to kind of like, you know, like engage with them like one-on-one -on -one or on a personal level. So uh, I think that's going to be like kind of like a new series I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be hitting people up on Instagram just randomly, like kind of like a little... Um, if I drop drop a post and be like, hey, if you have, let's say, I'll do random cars. Like if you have a, a Dodge Neon or something and you'd like a ride in the C5 or something, uh, drop a comment below and then I'll pick somebody. I'm just going to do random random things like that to pick who I'm going to be giving rides to. And uh, like I said, it's mainly just to connect with people and give them that experience of actually seeing what these cars do. Uh, a lot of y'all see them on the channel and stuff, but um, you know, that's one thing is seeing them, but then actually seeing them in person and getting to ride them and experience them. I think that'll be, um, I think that'll be dope, man. I think those experiences like that are kind of like life changing. And I don't really see anybody else on YouTube actually really trying to link up with fans and, and doing a whole series on this stuff. You know, I feel like a lot of people be like, oh, I love everybody that supports me, but you know, here's merchandise, go buy this and, and show love. Whereas like, there's never really like a one-on-one -on -one or actual too much of a giving back type of vibe. You know, it's one thing I could be like, oh yeah, here, you know, I'm, I wanna give out some free parts or, or whatever. Like, that's all cool, but uh, since everybody's here for the cars, man, I think a better option would just to be to throw people in the cars and give them an experience other than just, you know, us doing the clickbait ride alongs with the females and then just, you know, really throwing the actual enthusiasts in the car and giving them that that one-on-one uh, -on -one moment. And, you know, a lot of people don't get the experience cars that are over 500 horsepower, 600, 700, 800, all the way up to 1,000 horsepower. So uh, I feel like this would be a real world testament and let people gauge and see what an actual 500 horsepower car feels like. Because a lot of people have this crazy conception that, oh, on YouTube, you need 1,000 horsepower to have a fast car when you don't, man. Uh, proof this time and time again, this little thing only makes 500 horsepower, not even 500, it makes 493 horsepower exactly and about 465 foot pounds of torque or something like that so you know it's a uh, it's a good gauge man like I, feel, I really feel like people need to experience a car that's like decently modified and moderate power like you don't need a thousand horsepower to have fun in a car i can promise y'all that like don't believe the hype on all the 1320 races and all that stuff where everybody in texas is making 15 2000 horsepower like you don't need that like you don't everything doesn't need to be real life forza built I promise you. <laughs> Maybe one next the next ride along, I'll pick somebody to do a ride along in the FD. We'll do random ride alongs in the vet. Obviously, when the supercharged C5 is done, we're definitely gonna be doing ride alongs in that. 
so yeah man if you watching this and you follow on instagram just know that i am going to be doing a lot of supporter ride-alongs not necessarily it has to be a female this is going to be genuinely supporters and enthusiasts so Anywho, god damn, I think I did a lot of talking in this intro and explaining stuff to y'all. But anywho, uh, let's get this thing all warmed up. Let's hit bro up on Instagram and let's get this meeting location. It's been a minute. Let's pray she start up. We can't go nowhere without filling up some expensive ass gas. Hopefully this thing tastes like 60 bucks. Come on, baby. Don't go over 60. Do me right. Come on, girl. I know you ain't gonna do me like Ooh. Ooh. Thought she was gonna do me like that. Let's see. Would she go over 60? Nope. Oh, good girl. Good girl. That's what I'm talking about. Get all them drops. We're just getting here. You can see this yellow tree 50Z next to us. Let's get out and talk to him for a second before we even jump into the ride along. What's cracking? Not much, man. How about you? Cool, cool. This thing is clean. Your thing is clean. <laughs> this is this looks good. Turn your lights off. For you have a dead battery out here. I got you. <laughs> this is sick. Looks good, looks good. What's this, DE or HR? Oh man, I'm gonna disappoint you. DE? I'm sorry, man. Hey, <laughs> I had a DE too. <laughs> it blew up though, huh? <laughs> It did. That's why we here we are, trying to convince you to not stay DE. Hey, I'm already convinced, man. <laughs> <laughs> this thing looks good. This looks hella good. I appreciate it, dude. That's, that's real coming from you, man. Thank you. Nah, this looks good. But I'm just adding the seats in right now. I have bomb seats. I only have one seat though. <laughs> Dude, I would that suffocate in here. Yeah. I mean, you are short though. <laughs> I fit. Yeah, you good. I'm I'd getting, be all on that thing, stuffed up. <laughs> I'm getting harnesses too, but they come in tomorrow. So yeah, y'all already know. I'm like, uh, I'm trying to convert all the DE boys over to LS3. <laughs> I don't want them to do like I did and go down the rabbit hole, spend a bunch of money, and still end up going LS3 <laughs> in the long run. <laughs> and honestly, a lot of people tell y'all what? Go HR, right? Yeah. For the people that always say go HR, it's not a direct bolt-in swap. There's a bunch of stuff that, that's involved with it. And once you get ready to go HR, then you have to do the turbo stuff because the stock HR isn't going to feel like an LS3. Um, you're going to do the whole turbo setup, and then you're going to be well over what you have into a uh, into an LS3 setup. So, um, you know, by all means, if you're just a Nissan enthusiast, a Fresh Cakes fan or whatever, then by all means, you want to go HR, do it. I support you. But I'm just saying, just know there are better options out there man <laughs> especially for somebody that's not looking for like 700 horsepower like if you want something that's quick responsive a fun street car you know uh, ls3 is gonna be where it's at that's what we about to we're gonna show my mans right here what's up you ready or what I'm ready bro yeah let's go <laughs> let's just jump into it it's good hold on no no oh god no no Dude, I thought you were straight. Uh, <laughs> Ew. <laughs> hey, never mind. We're not giving this dude a ride along. We just gotta, uh, we're just gonna head out, you know? Static, man, static. So before we already take off too, we gotta ask everybody, what is the fastest car you've rode in? My brother's Evo X. Evo X, how much power did that make? <laughs> Stock. Stock? <laughs> Stock. So you ain't yes. been in like nothing really fast. No. All right. So this car, it's not like you know how people be on YouTube. Like, oh, thousand horsepower. This is a yeah. five hundred horsepower car. So you know how people be like, oh, you need eight hundred horsepower to feel fast. This will give you an idea of what an actual five hundred horsepower wheel horsepower, five hundred wheel horsepower car feels like. I'm fine with any horsepower, man. <laughs> That's <laughs> cheap. De boys life. <laughs> Evo X. Hmm. 
Hopefully we change that today.
likely it's the guy that ran over a couple of times. Phone over here and still went for it. <laughs> Jesus. RP phone, man. <laughs> Poor phone. 
All right, so here's the damage, man. Bro. I know, man. You was over here talking that fresh kicks juju, and now you got me looking like him. <laughs> kicks, bro, did you ever find that uh, A-pillar you was looking for? Because I need one too now. If you, if you find one, bro, let me know. How, Sway? How? How? Hey, this piece must be strong as hell, bro. It's still holding on. Right? Right. <laughs> Anywho, whatever. We'll find another one and get get it color matched. Final thoughts. What you think? Amazing, dude. I'm, I was already <laughs> convinced. Uh, I was already convinced before you even got here, bro. But this is just just amazing, dude. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. Fun, fun power on the street. Fun power. Fun as roller coaster, definitely. Now imagine what like you know seven, eight hundred horsepower feels like. <laughs> Like it almost becomes like unusable without like drag radios and stuff. Yeah. Like you can't, you know, you don't get to run around still on deep dishes and, and stuff like that. It's like, all right, I gotta run our compound. I gotta run 18s at most, you know, yeah. to have grip type stuff. So uh, this is this is fine, dude. This is I mean, it's more than fine. What the? <laughs> what am I talking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's definitely fun. Yeah. It's like you'll be a problem for most cars on the street. Like, eh, I haven't got the race of stock Hellcat, but. You know, it's like, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Like, some, like, you know, GT500, no. Yeah. But any anything else, like, you know, other vets, freaking coyotes and stuff like oh, that, yeah. like, you're mobbing on those. Kill those, man. You'll have problems with <laughs> just supercharged cars at that point. Yeah. Supercharged or, you know, factory boosted cars. But other than that, you know, it's, it's cool. Man, I, I appreciate you a lot for this, dude. Nah, it's all good, Here's man. <laughs> you was the first person to comment when I posted it. You yeah. was the first one. I was like, oh, guess we taking him. <laughs> yeah, and you were, and you were local, so I was like, oh, it works out perfect. <laughs> this thing is clean too. I appreciate it, man. It I like this, too, man. I mean, it would be. Like it would look so much better if it wasn't on bags, but you know. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on. You know, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna talk about that bag <laughs> life. Do I gotta get rid of the tomato too? Nah, you can keep the tome. The <laughs> bags, man. Cool. Oh no, bro. What do you mean? That's that's not cool. You can't have an LS3 with bags. Car gonna function like Dookie, <laughs> yo. You can run around like this. I mean, I'd definitely rather run like run around like that. Me, bro. look, look at that. <laughs> meat on there. Meat on the front. Nice functional height. Still looks low. You ain't gotta worry about breaking your kit when you go somewhere. Nah, I think you definitely convinced me about the bags too, bro. <laughs> definitely. Dude, Quet, you see now? You see how how coil lovers feel? That was a big yeah. ass jump we hit. And the car stayed planted, you know, we didn't nothing rub. Jump, yeah, we ate it. Like fast and freeze type of shit. Right Dude, the, the car works so well with the setup. Like everything is made to function. Like it's not just the car that looks good. Like it, it you know, has full suspension, everything on it. Coilovers are valved for the setup. Yeah. So at no point when we hit a bump did it feel like, like oh shit, it's hella, you know, it's hella sloppy. Nah, we, like you we want your, everything, bro. you want your compression to yeah. do this. You don't want it to go, that's what you don't want. You want it to, and back settle. Excuse me, sir, by chance, would you have a, a A pillar? No? Okay. All right, so how do we take this off? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I still like my A pillars. <laughs> I don't even know, I don't know if this is an A pillar, a B pillar, I don't know which pillar it is. I just know it's one of the, one of the alphabet pillars. <laughs> Always get them fucking confused. I, I think it's A, I don't know. I don't know, it could be A, like, yeah. oh, the B, the C, it's, I don't know. It's some type of pillar. It's thing. one of these alphabet pillars, that's all we know. <laughs> And I know mine's is somewhere on the side of the road in pieces right now. <laughs> Crazy we didn't find it. Probably flew in the backyard. We were kind of moving, so. Yeah. <laughs> how's that how's that math work? Speed plus air plus velocity <laughs> plus torque <laughs> equals like fucking equals lost A pillar. <laughs> yeah. Some 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 X equal B amount of thrust into somebody's backyard or something like that. I think it goes something like that. <sighs> if somebody has a pillar, man, let me know. I'm officially looking for a pillar so I can have Jesse uh, color match this thing. I can't even, I, I gotta take this back home. I can't drive <laughs> around like this. You gotta cover it with your. With Man, your I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put like some duct tape or something right here and make it just look like a, a black pillar. <laughs> this is tragic. Should stay in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Hella people can't really can't really tell, but now you can see where the, the blue is, and then you got the blue here, purple here, then you have the blue harness, and then the purple harness. Hella people can't tell they're they're mix matched. But it, it works it works hella good on yeah. the on the car. 
Yeah, it's like it's like it's like a whole candy car basically. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it looks good though. I appreciate it, dude. Appreciate that a lot. It looks, it looks good. It's my favorite color too. Yellow? yellow. Man, like yellow. Like for me, I like the color yellow, but mm. I don't know. I ain't really. I don't see too many yellow Z's, so yeah. it actually looks good to see one. Unique. Yeah, I mean, your shit is definitely unique, bro. <laughs> I never seen this before. Yeah, but that's like full on <laughs> custom freaking, you know, candy paint job. Yeah. I have a, I have a sad rap. Really sad rap. Damn, it is a Tomei. I can see the little titanium welds. You must be rich. Look, you are rich. You got clean white shoes. Yeah, bro, come on. Man, where, you, on. where you work at, yo? I work at McDonald's. Really? Yeah. I'm probably be in there all summer. Can I get a, a Mac Flurry? and two apple pies. Can you make sure they warm too? For sure, bro. Thank you for coming out. Appreciate you. Nah, it's good, man. Hey, I'm gonna put a post up, bro. It's gonna be like, lost, lost a pillar. <laughs> <laughs> Can't put it be on a milk carton box. It's gonna be black, <laughs> a black and white photo of just a half of a pillar. <laughs> Wants it. Yeah, we gotta find it, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back down there right there. I'm gonna try to find it, bro. Bro, if you find it, let me know. <laughs> All right, what's good, man? So uh, I'm actually right here uh, editing a video right now. I got everything loaded up and I was just going over the footage and uh, the dude I was giving a ride along to today, uh, Lil Bruh hit me up, sent me a, a long message basically saying that, you know, uh, thank you for the ride, he really appreciated it, uh, he's definitely never going to forget this memory, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and you know, man, um, looking back on it, bruh, uh, like for me, that shit's like, a, it's such a dope feeling, man, like just being able to give those memories and have those moments with people like that because like it literally a ride along is what changed me uh, as a kid and made me kind of be like yo i want to do this hella bad so you know being able to give those those same uh emotions and same feelings to me is like so 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 uh nostalgic man it's like brings back so many old memories and shit like that so um you know originally that's what uh, me doing the ride alongs that's what kind of like what I wanted to do with the ride-alongs before we started doing the clickbait stuff. Uh, the clickbait ride-alongs kind of just capitalizes off the lust and thirst of, you know, us niggas. Uh, but, you know, um, getting back to like the original point of me even wanting to do ride-alongs was to give enthusiast rides and just share these moments, man. And um, going back, looking at the video, just seeing him smiling the whole time through this video, dude, like, that shit is priceless to me, man. Like, you know, that shit, like, for me, that shit is just... It's definitely a genuine feeling because I remember being like that kid sitting in somebody else's car like, damn, I want to do this. And when I rode in somebody else's car, I didn't even have a car to be like, yo, I got the car to actually do this exact same stuff to. I didn't even have a car. You know, all I had was uh, the memories and the emotions of wanting it so bad. And when I actually got a little bit older and had the opportunity to make some money and was able to kind of just do some of the things that I want to do, um, you know, and seeing seeing his expression just brought back so many of those memories, man. So, uh, yeah, we're still going to be doing the clickbait ride alongs, but I'm definitely more like even more so ready to just give more enthusiast rides, man, and, and, and get these same reactions from people and just hopefully make life changing experiences. Uh, I tell everybody, man, I'm not here to entertain people. I'm here to inspire people. And, uh, I, I mean that shit. So, uh, hopefully bruh enjoyed it, which, you know, he sent me a long ass message, uh, thanking me, which he did. So, uh, yeah, man, hopefully we're going to do, we're going to do, we definitely gonna do more of these. And even though hopefully to it, we're definitely going to be doing more of these and, um, you know, I could, like I said, I could go and be like, oh, I want to do, I want to do cash prizes. I want to give away parts. Uh, I want to build a car. And, and like, for me, this is kind of like, I feel like the best thing I can give back to people is just these memories and moments. Because when I'm dead and gone, man, uh, if I just so happen to have an early death or what the fuck ever may happen, people are going to memory from, uh, people are going to remember me by my character and by you know by by my interactions with them so you know i want to get as many of these memories and interactions with people as i can even if it's on a one-on-one -on -one. some people feel like they know me from the videos cool but you know i just want to touch as many people as i can bro i know that shit sounds cliche as fuck i'm pretty sure a lot of people say that but you know i mean the shit so uh, you know action speaks louder than words you guys are going to see a lot more ride-alongs with just random followers and stuff like that because you know uh, hopefully when people jump in these cars and and do these rides man they just get motivated and uh, it, it encourages them to you know follow their dreams and doing this shit whether you still going to school to build a car or whatever if, like you want to build a car that's your passion and you still got other goals and stuff I'm not saying drop all your shit and build your car 
but I am, you know, hoping that this makes people stick to that dream and giving them like a real idea and expectations on like, yo, I can be here, I can get here, and this is what I want. So, uh, yeah, I'm about to finish editing this video. Um, again, man, I just want to say love y'all, appreciate y'all, and you know, all these years, man, appreciate y'all still rocking with me, man. This shit's like, it's definitely been a journey, but a lot of y'all have been here. Some y'all are new here. I'm pretty sure y'all will be here for a while. So, you know, again, like always, man, thank y'all. I love y'all. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you don't follow on Instagram, make sure you follow on Instagram because that's how I'm going to be just randomly picking people to uh, do ride alongs with. Uh, for those that don't follow on IG, my Instagram is it's underscore Mike underscore Mike. So it's underscore M-I-K-E underscore M-Y-K-E the exact same way we spell it on YouTube. But uh, yeah, we outie, man. I'm taking Granny and, and Nita to the movies later, so uh, let me finish editing this video, and then we're gonna get up, uh, get up out of here. So, deuces. <laughs> Speed limit 65.